All right, what's up guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make thumbnails like tfu or pretty much any other creator that uses 3d thumbnails with any program this one is going to be focusing on sfm so if you're looking for a blender program or a maya program tutorial or whatever i'm not going to be doing either of those two sfm is probably the easiest but at the same time that doesn't mean that it's easy in general so to get this program you're going to have to have steam and i'm pretty sure all of you know what steam is but if you don't it's a desktop program where you can download games it's like a game store you can download programs and everything all right so once you have steam you're going to go to the search bar and you're going to type in source filmmaker and you can pretty much probably type in source yeah it's right there and it's going to pop this up you're going to scroll down and you can see down somewhere around here it's going to say free and you can download it. i already have it downloaded obviously so i'm not going to be downloading it in this video but it's free you don't have to do anything and i'm going to be showing you guys how to get models as well and kind of showing you how to use them i don't think i'm going to go into too much depth with teaching you how to pose and like do lighting and all that stuff but i'm going to show you what you need and the tools you need and you can probably find other tutorials on how to perfect them and how to do your own style and really all it is is practicing and doing it as much as possible when i first did it i'll show you a screenshot of my first one it was not bad it was definitely not the worst i've seen but I've improved a lot because this is my most recent one and you can look at all mine on my channel and stuff like that and I've, I've done every one that I have on my channel 3D wise. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and open up SFM and I'll kind of go over more once I get that program open. All right, so something like this should pop up for you. I'm going to try not to miss any details, but if I do, I'll leave them as the pinned comment on this video. So if I left out anything, if you get to a point, if you're kind of going step by step in this video and you don't know what to do, if I miss something, it will be in the comments. So just check that. You can also leave a comment and I'll reply to it. I'll probably reply to every comment on this video, but something like this should pop up. You can rename your file. So for this, I'll name it um video tutorial so then i'll i mean you don't really have to change the frames unless you're going to do an animation but if you think that it matters you can change it to 60 you can pretty much do wherever and you can change where it goes where the file goes itself so once you create that it's going to pop this screen up and you probably have no idea where to even start from here so you're going to want to go up to file and you're going to want to hit load map there are tons of maps a lot of them are based around certain games um, like Team Fortress 2 and stuff. So you're not going to want to really mess with any of those, especially for Fortnite. I either go with Black Void or Box. And recently I've been going with Black Void. A lot of people like the shadows on that more. So that's what I'll open. All right. So it just said map loaded and it popped up this black screen. It doesn't look like anything's there, but that's the name of the map. It's purposely all black. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to load a model. And to get models, there are multiple places and sources you can get them. Plenty of designers have free models on Google Drive or Dropbox or in discords but for this video I'm gonna be showing you the easiest and simplest way to get them so what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to go to your steam workshop website it's actually on your browser so Chrome Firefox Safari whatever you're using you're gonna to want to go on there and you just want to go to this tab that's workshop you're gonna to want to be logged in because you can't install any of these without being logged in for some reason I don't know why you'll be able to download any of these models and what will happen is you'll be able to click this little button that'll pop up right here on the corner of each of these or you can open them individually and you can hit subscribe when you hit that it's gonna say log in blah 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 do all that but all these models are perfectly free. You don't have to buy them. You can get them. They download in a couple seconds and you can mess with the faces on them. You can mess with their arms, their legs, their reactions, just everything about them, all their features. A lot of them have some more than others. Some of them, you can't really mess with their face that much unless you do a lot of, um, I guess, manual labor. Some of them have easier ways to edit them and stuff. And some of them have like, you know, the glasses you can take off of some of these characters, the hats you can take off you can change the colors and you can, you can do a lot of stuff with it and like i said most of that stuff is just going to come the more you practice the more you'll learn and i mean this video is pretty obvious like i can teach you how to use sfm but i can't teach you how to be good at sfm i mean i can give you tips and stuff but there's not really a way for me to make you good at sfm so it's really just going to come down to practice once you get all the models that you want downloaded you know there's plenty of pages pages and pages of these models you can download them and what they'll do is it'll pop up if you have the program open it'll say like yes to all because you installed them and blah 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 so you'll right click over in this window over here and you'll hit new model and this can be a little intimidating it's kind of hard to search for models in this area what i used to do was i would manually go through and like look for all the models which was not fun at all but in most of those download files on the steam workshop you can see in the description of each little item and model what the name of the model should be 
and they all should be named after what skin they are so as long as you know the skin then you're fine so say you want to type in the default skin i don't know if it's actually named that so yeah once you type in the name it'll pop up i typed in jonesy i think that works yeah this one popped up and this will be the one i'll be using because tifu kind of uses this the most so why not but you just hit open on that you don't have to do any special settings or anything like that you just open whatever model it is you want and then you want to right click on this window over here one more time and you want to hit new light and this is only if you're going to be using the black void if you're going to use the box it's grayed out and it has kind of like its own lighting kind of embedded in it so from here what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag the light over here that will control the camera of the light and not the actual camera for the pose and you're going to want to back out you know a little bit to where you can kind of see where everything is and then you're going to go back right here and you're going to click again it'll go to work camera and then you can click again and it'll go to camera one so what i like to do is i like to go over to view and I like to open up the secondary viewport and I'll, you know, put it somewhere on the screen that isn't too in the way and it'll just be on camera one so I can just see what it's going to look like in the final pose. I usually leave the first camera where it's at. That way I don't have to worry about posing. I can just pose the models for that specific camera. So what you'll want to do is you want to make sure that this camera is on work camera. So always make sure this is on work camera. You can always go back to your camera one and you'll be perfectly fine. It'll be on the same spot that it was when you first imported the model. So what I like to do is I like to kind of take the model, you have to select it in the window, and these two tools right here, kind of like the rotation one and the one where you angle it different ways will be the main tool you'll use. But I like to obviously drag it back and bring it down a little bit. And then in this you know little viewport, you can see the model in its original camera one form. While as this one, you can kind of rotate around it or whatever, and you'll never lose that screen over here. And I think that's probably one of the best features in this program that you can use. It saves you a lot of time. Cause I mean, imagine you're just kind of like going around like this. You're like, yeah, I can't wait to see how this looks. And then you switch to the camera and you're like, wow, this looks completely terrible. Why would I even use this as a pose at all? So always stay on the work camera. Um, so after you've drug your light in, you're just going to want to mess around with the poses. I can't really teach you how to be good at this. If you want me to, I can make like a posing tutorial. My poses aren't the best, but they can definitely give you pointers if you're brand new. If you want that, I can make a separate video on that. But for this, I'm just going to speed this part up and kind of go over things as I feel like they're necessary. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy.
All right, so once you get done with all the settings you want, some of these you may want to do, some of them you may not want to. For example, the camera, I did that just for preference. I watched a video on shadows and stuff, which you could go look up, just look up shadows on SFM, look up all the stuff you want to learn how to do and perfect. You can look up lighting and all that stuff as well, all separate. It's all really down to preference. I mean, obviously there is a such thing as bad lighting and good lighting, but like I said, I can't really teach you the lighting itself. So it's really all up to you once you're done. I don't know if you saw, but you want to right click on the, you know, viewport or whatever, and you want to make sure all these are set to high. You may not notice too big of a difference, but it's the best quality that you could possibly get with each model. Like I said, make sure you do the render settings right there, and then you're going to want to go up to file. Make sure you save. I saved multiple times, and then you want to go to export. And you want to go to poster so make sure it's named whatever you want it to be for me it's going to be video tutorial like the file itself that way they match each other you're going to want to hit save and you want to make sure to change the format from tga to either png or jpeg so then once you hit export it'll pop this window up and it'll just render for as long as it takes your computer to render and then from there you want to drag it to photoshop and do all the effects on it so from here, it's pretty much Photoshop stuff. After this part, you don't really do anything else in this program. And I'm not going to show all of my Photoshop stuff simply because one, I kind of have my own style. Um, and two, I'm still learning a lot of the stuff to do with SFM quote posters with Photoshop. So I would maybe recommend trying to find somebody else that has tried to upload videos on it. You can't really make thumbnails without Photoshop unless you know somebody that can put these models into Photoshop and do some work on them themselves for you you know just add a background do something you can go on google and find backgrounds you can go into playground and you know start up a match and then go into replay mode take some screenshots and then just you know add some blurs add some color correction and that's pretty much it you don't need anything with these thumbnails i don't like text on my thumbnails i think it looks a lot cleaner without text unless you have like you know a victory royale symbol in the back or something might make a video of that if you want to see that make sure to let me know and yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Hopefully I covered everything you need to know. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I might make a second part to this um, where I kind of go over more features like the lighting and the posing and Photoshop. If this video gets enough likes, I don't really know how this video is going to do. I've never really done with these on my channel, but I know this is a pretty popular topic. I know a lot of people want to learn to do this. So yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.